Thank you for viewing our YouTube channel at Palletwood Camper. This video is about how we made a custom 8L-shaped door that would allow Nick to access the rear end of the trailer and store his mobility scooter whilst traveling in the car. It would also mean he could drive the scooter out and keep the scooter outside the trailer whilst overnight camping so it could charge and allow both Nick and Daniel's access to the trailer to sleep in overnight. They built the skeletal frame of the door with their usual pallet with the door being 720mm wide at the lower part and 640mm at the top of the door. The intersection was made central with the door being 1.3 meters high at 650 millimeters. Both the outside and inside of the door were fabricated with 650 millimeter lengths of pallet wood. Internally within the cavity of the door, they painted it with all-weather gloss paint. Whilst this paint was wet, they sandwiched in the door cavity their own insulation packs made from shredded paper and aluminum foil packed within a waterproof polythene zip bag. A tutorial video is available on our channel on how to make it. The paint would not only further waterproof the door and keep it dry from the elements but would secure the insulation packs within the door. Three stable gate T hinges were purchased which were heavy duty but the door was rather heavy. The rear end of the trailer had to be structurally strong to allow the mobility ramp they had made for Nick's mobility scooter to be secure and carry the weight of the scooter which was including the weight of Nick would be 250 kilograms. As Nick and Daniels don't have much money they salvage what they can. They found some scrap plyboard dumped at the side of a road which they retrieved and after allowing it to dry in their workshop allowed them to secure the fascia of the door that faces internally inside the trailer. This was simply screwed to the back and Nick followed the contours of the door with a jigsaw and sanded down to ensure a smooth edge that allowed it to be flush with the outside facing edges of the door. Daniels grabbed his favorite workshop tool, the router, and sanded down three pieces of pallet wood which would be our decorative look to the door facing outwards from the rear of the trailer. He decided each piece would be positioned at the top and bottom of the door and one central. Our plan was to have a two-tone color scheme on the trailer. A deep rich reddish mahogany stain and a lighter honey. Nick is color blind and his color identification is poor but he likes the shades and contrast of Daniel's suggested color scheme which was close to the original picture of a teardrop camper that initiated the dream of building one themselves. As always pallet wood and it deriving from wood is not suitable for the retail market and due to the weather, the dampness can affect and slightly warp the wood. Daniels and Nick don't have a thickness or planer but they do have plenty of gold dust, I mean sawdust and wood glue which when mixed together make a great wood filler. For any imperfections and gaps they apply this homemade wood filler and fill them and then when dry they sand down until smooth. They wanted to keep the rustic look as well as the fact when completed it was made out of pallet wood. Here is a sneak preview of what Daniels and Nick have been working on during the editing of this video in the form of a teaser. We all hope you enjoyed watching this video and ask if you can support Nick and Daniels in their quest by subscribing to their channel. As well as clicking on the thumbs up. Please also if you have any comments please post them below and either of the boys will respond. We hope you have a nice day.